everyone and welcome back to the Tank Encyclopedia Hobbies channel. I'm Stan and today we're continuing our book reviews with the comic book. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird, but I had this one in my personal library and thought you'd all want to have a look at this. So for all of you who are not British, like, you know, most of the planet, there's a thing called Commando Comics. This is a series of small format short comic books with military themes, mostly revolving around the First and Second World Wars. They've been publishing for 60 years now and there's over 5,400 issues already out and holy moly that's a lot! Uh, new issues are £2.25 a piece, and if they're in the same quality as the one I have, well worth the price. You can also get an even cheaper digital subscription. Now, Commando comics are made in an almost A5 format and have 63 pages in black and white, with only the covers being coloured. And that's the same for the issue I have, which is number 5100, Clash of Giants. Now, this is actually a re-release of an older issue from the 1970s, but I don't see that being a problem. This particular comic book is set in North Africa in 1941, with the Germans hijacking some British cruiser Mark IVs in order to reconnoiter the British lines and find a weak spot, and a British tank crew trying to stop them, along with some help and problems from the RAF. Damn, flyboys. The story is definitely not bad, but it's not Pulitzer worthy either, kinda what you'd expect from a comic book if not slightly better. It's quite fast paced, it doesn't get you bored, and it makes you want to read more such comic books once you're done, which I guess is all the point. Now I'm not gonna go too much into the plot because it is rather short and I personally hate spoiling stories. The drawings are excellent and everything looks pretty much as it should. And I'd like to highlight the cruisers for looking particularly good and pretty much on point accuracy wise. While some may dislike the black and white only style, I feel it is quite appropriate and works well with the era the story is set in. However, I personally do not like the front cover which I feel looks kind of ugly but never judge a book by its cover, eh? I'm actually curious what do you guys think of the cover? The paper used inside is kind of low quality, but for £2, what exactly can you ask for? So all in all, is this worth its money? Definitely yes, it's honestly a bargain at £2, although it seems I can't find a printed copy to buy anywhere on the internet anymore. But you can still buy the digital variant on Amazon or from the publisher for far cheaper, and there's also subscription for the newer issues available. As always, you'll find some links in the description. Actually, if you've ever read any of these before, let us know in the comments which issues you like most, maybe we'll buy them in the future and do a more in-depth review. And that's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this, I won't be making a new review anytime soon as I'm taking a slight break from all the tank books and I'm going to France, but I'll be back soonish. Don't forget to check out Wolf starting a new build and our historical videos over on our main channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Until next time, keep us in your sights.